you are looking at a new civil service hub for 3,000 relocated government workers and it's very nearly completed opposite is I'm told a gay sauna place um, within this red light area another closed down building Blackpool Royal British Legion Club which I'm sure they'll be in quite a bit but it makes me you know you've got all these buildings closed and they're, they're, they're building this big um, as I say civil service hub for the uh, government workers you know I just think these buildings are being neglected just around the corner from the civil service hub and there's a uh, Thai paradise now apparently there was a bit of a um, a lovely car outside again apparently there was a bit of a, a, a thing with the council with this opening because they knew what it was about they knew it wasn't just a massage place um, but they let it happen anyway it just seems that every so often <laughs> you know there's political betrayal washes up on Blackpool shores doesn't it and just lets the people down Joanne Andrew has run Natalie Sauna a brothel out of 27 Coxon Street since at least 2010 when she was caught advertising it as a beauty salon on the council's website. Her punishment? The council simply removed the listing from their site. Fast forward six years, a police raid discovered a 16-year-old girl had half naked under a blanket there. But it gets more unbelievable when Joanne Andrew is pulled up in court and facing a closure order where she apologised for not knowing the girl's age. It was a one-off mistake, she told the judge. It won't happen again, claiming she had a mortgage to pay for and worried what would happen to her girls if the brothel closed. Pulling hard on the judge's heart sings, dissatisfied the judge who allowed Natalie Sauna to remain open. It makes you sick, doesn't it, to think a poor 16-year-old girl was being used in these seedy places and uh, the owner gets away with it. it. Makes you wonder, doesn't it, after it was revealed last year that there was 105 serving police officers here in Blackpool under investigation for corruption. This year, Blackpool North, the MP, stands accused of misusing taxpayers' money. While his colleague in Flad, Leslie, paid a teenage escort for sex. It's just, um, all this comes after, after I mentioned in my last video. About Scott Benton too. Honestly, every other building here is, is uh, boarded up and you do wonder what goes on behind these boarded up doors and windows. I can hear shouting somewhere. I don't know whether this, uh, this fella's giving this woman a bit of grief there with him. I hope you're not giving this lady grief. Sorry, love. You're getting grief? Come on, come with me. Alright, we'll just give her some space, mate. Alright. Oh, go away, you know, throw the police to to talk to me, leave me alone. Got his problems, has he? Yep. If he comes in my house, I'm <laughs> You take care, love. Thank you. Ah, fucking hell. This is a, a very interesting street, to say the least. shouting again or what but look at these cars these cars must be worth more than these houses here it makes you wonder doesn't it you in a red light area full of saunas and massage places and you've got these cars pulled up in the side streets look at the state of this fucking hell Here, I'm gonna go back down. It looks like he's um, 
it sounds like he's giving it a bit of shit, but oh, he's walked on now, I think. There's dog shit absolutely everywhere here as well. You've got to watch where you're walking. So this is just off Cookson Street. Um, and honestly, all the boarded up houses, you, would, you wouldn't know whether they were brothels themselves or see the little hard out places for these 16 old girls. Hello, miss. Just gonna go up and check on this lady again. Can't believe that was her son, by the way. <laughs> it sounded like he was giving her the right here for, but that was a house. She's, looks like he's gone. I don't know where he's gone. I think he walked straight up towards that uh, new building there. I can't see her now, but... So I'm going to show you the bottom of Charles Street. Um, and Cookson Street runs right across Charles Street. Charles Street is where I was before, um, where the mum and son were arguing. But I've come to the bottom, and I'll make my way to the top and just show you how bad it really is. Yeah, I'm told that Charles Street is um, problematic um, with the sex industry, the red light industry if you like um problematic with dog shit as well by the way um and some of the houses are getting knocked down for a university this little bit doesn't doesn't seem too bad these houses are well kept well maintained um so i think these houses are probably the ones that that are staying i don't know that these the problematic houses they don't look like they look like um, the well looked after. You yeah, have uh, a closed down building over here, but yeah, it's definitely closed down. Apart from that, this part of Charles Street actually looks um, quite nice, quite well kept. It's the part where I'm going to now, over this road. I can't believe how many houses are boarded up. And there's still some people living in some of them. You can tell that some used to be B and B's as well with the the signs above the doors, which is sad that they've that they've gone. But um, I'm taking a little look up here. A load of police went past here before, so it sounds like they stopped as well. I'll have a little look up here now and see what's going on. Look at this though; it's just unnecessary amounts of rubbish you are just dumping the stuff there too I'm gonna head back down there is police down here but I'm not gonna poke my nose into the uh, business so I'm coming back down now I'll go back up Charles Street um, the end where most of the houses look like they're coming down there's no excuse for this is there there's absolutely I don't care whether it's a deadlift building or what you, you don't just don't dump rubbish like that it's just no need but i love what they've done with this with this house here i don't know whether it was like that when they lived there it probably was but they've it's a uh, looks like banksy's girl with a balloon and there's i like that that's a nice touch next door has got butterflies but um yeah <laughs> still doesn't hide the fact that these are just absolutely terrible, terrible dog shit again. You've got to be careful where you walk. But look, as you can see, this used to be some kind of B&B. Sons, pride and joy. And now it's uh, no longer. It's sad. There's not many businesses left around here, to be honest. Well, not seedy ones anyway, but there is this uh, African Caribbean supermarket, which I'm going to go to now and get some food. So a big thank you for everyone that watched, hope you enjoyed, just a little walk around Blackpool's Red Light District, it's nothing like Shield Road in Liverpool I'll tell you that.